Well, we need to move right along. I have right here something special. What do I have in my hand? A paper. A receipt. A paper. A receipt? Yes, yeah, it's actually old. Old paper. Is this special paper? Yes. Yes. Why is it special? Because it could have your schedule and your things you made. No, it just says math science on it. But you know what makes it really special? It's paper. Yeah, I drew a picture of Darth Vader on it. <laughs> now, what is this paper made from? Trees. Trees. What are trees made from? Oh, what's that? Paper. Paper? Yeah, in a circular <laughs> way. Yeah. <laughs> what are trees made from? Leaves. Leaves? Leaves are paper. What is it? Wood. Wood. Trees. That's a, trees are wood. Does wood burn if you try to catch on fire? Yes. 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 So therefore, paper should do what? I try to catch on fire. fire. It should burn. Can Shall we test you? that? Yes. Okay. Oh, here we go. Is it burning? Yes, it, it does burn. Now look at that. Burn the corner right off. Now, fire needs three things in order to survive. Can someone name something fire needs to survive? Yes, Mikhail. Gas. Well, we'll call that fuel. In this case, the fuel was the paper. Yes, sir. What else does fire need? Um, something that has air. Like you block something with an underwear on? Well, air. What kind of air? Does anyone know? Wind. No, not wind. You blow it out. It is. Do you know what kind of air? To blow it out. To blow it out. No, you don't want to blow it out. What kind of air? Fire. 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 Without oxygen, you're not going to have any fire. It needs one other element. It begins with the letter H. H? Letter H. Hieroglyphics. Not hieroglyphics. <laughs> that's a form of writing. That's not an element, but that's very good. What do you think, guys? Can you imagine? No, you can no. write on paper. I can write on paper. Hi, Ochoa! Now, now how do you do? It begins with the letter H and rises with feet. Heat. Heat. Exactly. Without any heat, fuel, or oxygen, you're not going to have a fire. Yeah, the fire is almost like a living creature. It needs to eat and it needs to breathe. It breathes oxygen and it eats the paper. It uses every bit of energy possible to can for the paper. So we can eat it too? No, we can't eat it. Well, if we could, it would be very good. <laughs> Unless you want a high fiber diet. Can I try to burn it? No, no, you guys are going to try to burn it because it's dangerous. But, look at that. Well, the, the fire can't use everything for the paper. It's going to leave some left behind. It uses what it can eat, but it leaves its left behind. What would you call this left behind? It's like a feather. What do you think it is? A knife. A knife? No, that's not a knife. Look at that. That's, that's not yeah. a knife. What would you call it left behind? Like, what's at the bottom of a fireplace? Um, Begins with letter A. Um, ashes. Ashes, yes. Ashes. That's the leftover chemical residue from a fire. It's what the fire couldn't eat, so it left it behind. So, when you think about it, ashes is essentially... Fire poop! I've got this piece of paper. What can you tell me about this piece of paper? Yes, sir. That it's very thin, you can do this. It's very thin, yeah. It's paper. It's paddy paper. What kind of paper do you think this is? Paddy um, paper. Uh, underwear paper? Underwear paper? Tissue paper. Tissue paper? Does that look like tissue paper? Any other guys? What kind of paper do you think this is? It's another underwear paper. Underwear paper? What is this underwear paper? Is this something new? Uh, 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 I have a paper. You need a higher paper. Well, this is very special paper. It does closely resemble tissue paper, much like this present right here. Underwear paper. Do you think this paper will burn if I try to set it on fire? Yes. yes. No. Or do you think it will not burn? Let's find out, shall we?
was invented quite by accident by a mad scientist one cold winter's night in the middle of Sweden. He was working late one night on his notes, and he got a little tired, decided he was going to go to bed. So he left his notes on the table along with all his chemicals. And so he went to bed. Well, what he didn't know that is he had this cat. And his cat, Marmalade, jumped up on the table, started walking around and doing what his cat's doing. like, oh, what's this? Oops, oh, I made a mess. Oops, oh, what's this? Oops, oh, I made a mess. Because, you know, that's what cats like to do. So, when a mad scientist woke up in the morning, he's very dismayed to find all of his hard work soaking wet. So, how do you think he tried out his papers? Yes, sir. He used the sun of gas and fire. Well, he, he couldn't use the sun. It was the middle of winter in Sweden. It was very cold. Air. Air? How, how, how so? To dry the paper? Good guess. What do you think? Fire. Fire, that's right. I how do you think? That. You, you said the sun. Right. Well, okay. Yeah, the sun. Well, it's the winter time. The sun is very cold. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear that part. Well, how did he need to dry the clothes in the middle of winter back then? Do you know? Underwear. Underwear. You can use underwear. You can use underwear. Okay. No. Oh, God. How did he need to dry the clothes? That's right. Well, in the middle of winter, you couldn't do that because it would freeze. You know, you have to try to put on frozen underwear. <laughs> that's not going to work. So they had a clothesline inside the house in front of a fireplace, and that's where he hung up his papers, letting the heat from the fire dry out all the moisture from the paper, get his paper nice and dry. But there's a little spark of bing, and then on his paper, and boom, gone. Now, instead of saying, oh, my hard work is gone, he was like, wow, that was cool. And, oh, wait, I forgot, he's Swedish. So he's like, no, 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 he no, 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 so, you guys want to see it again? Yeah! All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Oh. I'm not sure if I want to do this anymore. Yeah. Shall I? Yeah. 